Hey everyone, this episode we are hanging out in the central Otago region on Lake Dunstan, especially around the Clyde Dam. But before we went there, we had had a couple of days of rainy and overcast weather before the beautiful sun would come out for us. So we were pretty desperate for some power after running flat in Arrowtown last episode, so let's begin our story from there. So we found this parkover property. It's uh, $21 a night for power for our family, so it's been good. It's been raining the last couple of days, so it's nice that we're fully charged now. Um, we're going to go head into Cromwell and have a look, see what's there. So let's go. When we plug into power, it means our hot water is heated by electricity, our fridge runs off electricity, and we can use all the power points in our caravan, which has been nice. Cromwell is known as being a bit of a food bowl for stone fruit. Peaches, nectarines, apricots, you get some pretty awesome prices at the local orchards as well. But this is an area I don't really know much about. But in the 80s, they built the Clyde Dam and where Cromwell was, was flooded out to make room for Lake Dunstan and the power station further down at Clyde. Part of Cromwell. So the historical buildings of Cromwell were moved and saved and large portions of the town were demolished, which I imagine would have been pretty devastating for many people. For the two large rivers, the Clutha flowing from Lake Wanakrin Hawea and the Kawara River from Lake Wakatipu meet right here in the front of the historic precinct. It's cool that they're just not historic buildings, they've been reused as shops. So this one's a jewellery store. I really enjoyed the newspaper store which had a bit more history around the flooding there of the town. There were a whole lot of these buildings that weren't historical that were um, demolished for... What a life. massive job that must have been to get rid of all those buildings. And they also had a photo of what it used to look like before they flooded the rivers. And the kids love playing with the old telephone network. What is this that you're playing with? I'm calling heaps of people. Toby, what what? Is it? what is it? I don't know. Who would you like to speak to? Huh? Uh, Oma. Yeah. There you go. Alright, I've been trying to make sense of how things used to look, so this map helps. So, this here is the Kawado River into Lake Dunstan, and over that way is the Clutha River into Lake Dunstan. You are here, this is the old river. This is the old river. This is where the old town main street used to be. And the old bridge is still under the water there. The old town hall here, half buried under the ground next to the to the lake slash river. Cool. And after all that walking around, I was getting so hungry. I needed a pie and I saw that there was a really good shop in town. Time for a pie. Great reviews. Just down the back there of this hidden little pie shop in the industrial part of Cromwell. I got the pork belly. It's gonna have a taste. 4.9 stars on Google reviews. That's pretty good. They had some pretty awesome flavors there but they were running a bit low. So this is the one I went for. Lots of meat, heaps of good flavor and a pretty good price at $6.50. So it's good. So Central Otago. Central Otago is renowned for its beautiful autumn colors and I saw this and I had to stop and come and get some video. Look at that. Wow, Watch it's so beautiful. Me. Leave me far from my surroundings. Take over me, over every rushing memory. If only for a moment. Oh, this could be my last chance. Sail on 
Well, good morning. The uh, sky is lightening up now. We're getting ready for some good forecast. We are going to head towards Alexandra or to the Clyde Dam, actually. Going to camp there for a few nights if we can get a spot. Um, it's been great staying here. Been nice having power. We will be back to Cromwell, uh, but we're getting the truck service in Alexandra today. So let's hit the road, see what we can see as we go down the Lake Dunstan through from Cromwell to Clyde. How's this for a spot? I thought it was going to be a lot busier here. Right on the water. Oh, and it's nice and flat, no wind. What do you think, Tobes? Good. Very deep. Do you want to go fishing? So I just got back with the truck getting its service, uh, turns out needed new brake pads, new discs as well, which doubled the price, $1,250 for a service, the brake fluid change, new brake pads, new discs, but man it's noticeable difference driving back here. <sighs> don't you hate that though when things cost more, especially when you don't have an income, <gasps> but that's alright, we're going to be safe and hopefully we don't really need to do anything to the truck for a long time now. After the money sting of the extra cost, we did wake to a gloriously blue still day. Without knowing it, a smile was on my face. Out of the blue, I thought of you. Times like these, I got a grateful heart. All the air I need. So this is New Zealand's biggest dam, the Clyde Dam. So right at the top there is where the water is just above where we're camping which is pretty amazing to think about how much water there is up above there. And you can see all the power lines where electricity is being generated so it's all for hydroelectricity. I'm sure I used to be able to drive across this dam, but it's very like barbed wire fortified now. No access at all. So, yeah. And of course, the kids found an awesome rock that they had to go climb out on the lake. Um, 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 
so I I've always been interested in how it all works so you've got your four big barrels in the middle there the water comes down there spins rotors which creates a current which sends it through wiring into I don't know I'm not never sure on all of these things but yeah down into the power station anyway where the electricity is created from the spinning turbines and then through the wires into the main electricity network and then back to camp for some old classic cars and time to brave it out and go for a swim in this lake you remind me of so you remind me of you it was pretty fresh in the water, but not cold enough to stop me from getting back in again. You remind me of falling rain, yeah that sweet, sweet sound on my window pane. You remind me of sky so blue, I'm gonna hold on. Museum, reading up a little bit about the gold history. So apparently, three-month period out of the Dunstan River here, or lake, 2.2 tons of gold. That is, man, that's unbelievable. A lot of these old gold mining towns actually used to have larger populations than they have today until everybody left when the gold mining stopped. So there is quite a bit of history here and they even have some of the really old newspapers from way back in the day. One of the things that I really like about being in the caravan with the kids is they come up with some pretty cool games. So they are making a game of charades right now. So let's just have a little look at what they're up to. RJ's charades. And it stands for Riley and Jade's charades. And what have you been doing? We're making cards out of cardboard and putting from paper beer. on the back. Yeah, from beer. <laughs> So cool. I'm not finished these ones. And while the girls are working on their game, I am trying to make an apple cinnamon cake. First time we've done like proper baking of a cake instead of bread in the oven. Kitchen's a bit of a pigsty. Oh, that looks funny. Okay, so we've got our rules of how to play and what the cards, it's different, different cards version. are. Pick one. <laughs> so I've got two options here. First one, and then I can uh, oh. choose to pick another card if I want. Dad, everybody now knows what you have. I don't. No, they don't. Empty the bucket. Oh. <laughs> Rubbish man. You got it. Okay. <laughs> climbing. Hiking. Hiking up the hill behind us. There's a hiker. No. Rock, climb. rock, rock climbing. climbing. Tree climbing. Tree climbing. Rock, rock climbing. climbing. Rock climbing. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, it's turn. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. No, you can't. No, you can't. Just you can't see any words. Okay. Turning the gas on. Which gas? Making on? a coffee. Are you cooking? 
Making dinner. Cup of tea. Making a cup of tea. <laughs> yes. Mum's turn. That cake looks pretty good, eh? Well, after seven weeks of traveling around with Alma and Alpa, they're leaving us today to head off back towards the North Island. So I think the kids are going to be a bit sad about that. You had a good time, Alma and Alpa? We sure did. We sure did. Uh, especially doing the bike trails with Sophie. And paddleboarding. Uh, paddleboarding Milford Sound, that was a highlight. And the walks. Yeah, and the walks in, yeah. in the forest at, at um, Lake Manawai. Mm. That was beautiful. Yeah. It's... All right, well, I guess we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> So next time we're still in central Otago and we have a couple of other spots to show you, especially out at St. Bathurst. Man, that spot is beautiful. But until then, we will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Just to get to